Hello everybody, welcome back to another Mario Jab video, and today I'm showing off another data pack I made, and I'm sorry if you hear the washer in the background, but hopefully you won't. Okay. So this, so for to crafting all your weapons, you need a, a cauldron, I meant your staffs, and this is the magic data pack. So, um, I probably suggest what what you should do is if I just fly up a little bit, like you could build, like you could stand on top of something and throw it in. Oh. <laughs> I should be playing Minecraft basketball. Good at this. Okay, but. <laughs> Okay, and then, wait, no. <laughs> okay, so there's one more staff, but you have to find a villager to do it. Hopefully he still, tp at p to at e type equal villager. Limit equals one. Oh, he's dead. Okay, well, function magic. Where is he? Oh, I see him. All right. <coughs> Hello, how are you doing, good sir? So, he has to refresh his trades, so we'll let him do that. I'll show you what all the other staffs do in the meantime. So, ender staff. You can Okay, you teleport five blocks forwards, wherever you're looking. So you can teleport this way, this way, this way. And the cool part is, um, for example, I can phase through walls with it. Yeah, okay, yeah, he has trades are here. So, and the spider staff. So, if I just come out here and place a cop. You right click and you can just place a cobweb. So it's not very useful unless you want a lot of cobwebs and it's pretty useful. But, and then also with the spider staff, if you're in water or something, it doesn't actually work. You have to be in the air before it to work. But it could be pretty annoying. Alright, so, <coughs> excuse me. We need some test dummies for these next three. So, fire staff. Uh,. Sets enemies on fire when you left click with it and does pretty good damage. Right click, blow people up. Okay, that's the fire staff. Now, water staff. Uh, right click, do da um, you do four hearts with this one. Uh, or left click, no. Right click to hit. Left click to hit, right click to give yourself strength to weaken and slow all mobs around you. So it's pretty good. So you can go let. Uh, and then just keep doing that. Okay, life staff. Uh, if you regeneration when you right click, and then when you left click, it gives a mob instant health. So watch. It does one attack damage, so. And it gives instant health one, so. I will never be able to kill this creeper. because I'm always healing him more than I'm doing damage. And the scooper is at full health right now. Go in the hole, creeper. No, creeper. Go in the hole. I totally didn't dig with the fire staff just for fun. Alright, but then it's good against, like, I'm gonna spawn in a skeleton, I guess. But if I spawn in a skeleton, it does instant damage instead of instant health, so you can kill it. Okay, uh, next, and then those are this. Let's see, I did fire, water, life. Okay. 
So these are the staffs. They're pretty cool. Um, excuse me, but now there's a few other things in this mod. So um, we'll start with the spider villager. He's back and right there. Okay. So I need one spider eye, one blue wool, a book, and four fermented spider eyes. So spider eye. One fermented eye for a book <coughs> and blue wool, and it has to be normal blue wool, not light blue wool. Okay, villager. Okay, thank you, spider villager. Um, so you can get an enchant. There's new enchantments in this mod, and this is not really part of the mod, but it's just fun to have. Well, it is, but. This is this is a spider hat, or it's called blue hair because thank you blue hair spider for the suggestion. But so watch if you hold shift and W while looking at a wall, you start you can start climbing up it. Then you just make it to the top. All right. Oh, we. So it's pretty fun to climb up walls with. Like you can climb up a little. You can actually climb. Like you can kind of jump high too if you're trying to climb the ground, but it doesn't work very well. See, all you're doing is this. You just look at the ground and you kind of jump up and down. But the main part of the hat, the main focus of the hat is climbing up walls, which would be super nice. <coughs> like if you're working on a house and you die, and you don't want to build a whole scaffolding to get back up there. Alright, now for the enchantment. So, I'm just going to do time, set, day. So, you put it on a, I'm going to put it on a sword, but you can literally put it on anything. Um, go over to an anvil, drop your weapon on top, and hold the book in your hand, and then you get the enchantment. So, let's see, I'll try to, I'll spawn a creeper, in, for example. So you can probably guess what it does by the title, but when you hit, you give them poison. So you give them poison for three seconds. See? So it's pretty cool. Then, let's see, now I have a few other enchantments in the mod. So, for one of them, let's see. I'm going to do time set midnight, because you have to, in effect, give... At a night vision seconds. <laughs> Alright, let's try to find it. There it is. A ghost. Now ghosts will spawn in your world. Now I'll fight it at survival. Game mode survival. Alright, and that time when I killed him, I got the ghost head, which when you put it on, 25% chance not to get knocked back. <laughs> uh, being swarmed. Mm. Oh no, and- okay. Okay, but I need my jogging axe. Um... And this is not actually part of the mod, it's just something I use for sh if I want to one-shot something. Now, let's try to find another ghost. Or what you can do is do function, and then magic, and then these will be all the commands. So I'm going to give myself a ghost spawn egg. Alright, oh! Yes, I got the enchantment. Life steal. So it's a twenty percent chance to drop life steal. Just put it on. I'll put it on. I guess this sword. Okay. Now it has. It still has poison tip. It just. All right. So watch if I drop game mode survival. 
I need to take a bit of damage. But watch, every time I... Eh. <coughs> Jeez. Eh. See, every time you... If you do a good enough... If you do every 10 hearts of damage you do, you heal. Yeah, they're all dead. Then if you spawn in does and then there's also a a desert variant. And I hope I get it. Oh let's see, but one of these commands spawns it. Is it is it you? No, that spawns normal ghosts. Uh, this spawns desert ghosts. But Let's see, 30 times set Okay. So if I just want a bunch of desert goats then. Did I get one? No. I mean this, it's only a 10% chance to get it from just- Okay, I got it. Life steal two. Um, so what Life Steal 2 does is when you have it on, oh, I can just uh, apply it to, let's see, I'm gonna get a Diamond Sword 2. So Life Steal 2 is basically just Life Steal 1, as I have to set up every 10 hearts, um, every 10 damage. If you do, it's every 7 damage you do, so it's a little bit better. So this is Life Steal 2. Okay. There we go. So now if I attack something. Alright, so if I just spawn a second one in. So you see, every time I hit it, you see that healing buff I got? Okay, I'll go attack these guys, just for example. See, I'm healing. I just killed a few more. Oh, and also, just to mention, the desert ones only have a 15%, so the white ghost drop worse life steal, but better ghost heads. But. Alright. So, the next enchantments. They actually are both dropped by the same creature. We have to head to the nether for. Yay! Everyone loves the nether. Wait, oh. Uh-oh. <sighs> I have to go into the nether, okay. I don't know what happened. A bunch of random creatures are there, which is not good. I'll just copy you. No. Another cell. Look around. No, none there. Wait, did I see one? I thought I did. No. Down here. Yeah, 
They should just spawn naturally, but... I haven't found one yet. Well, it's actually a vari variant of the zombie pigmen, so if I just spawn a few more zombie pigmen in. Oh, there's one. Alright, so... Occasionally, rarely, hunter zombie pigmen will spawn. So they can drop two enchantments, but anyways, this is what makes them terrible, I guess. So if you're just exploring the nether, you'll be all normal until you see this guy. This guy starts aggressive. So if you hit him, then all the other zombie pigmen get angry at you, and it doesn't end well for you. Alright, well, they're all coming for me now, but... Yay! Okay, well, anyways, you get what it'd be like fighting it, but if you somehow manage to kill it, uh, here, I'll give you an example, so, right here, I have a spawner that just spawns them in. Well, they're normal zombie pigmen, so, oh, um, Oh yeah, they can also drop gold axes, too. Yeah, I got an enchanted book. Which one is it? Swiftness. Okay, cool. That's a more common one. Alright, here, let me show you swiftness. So, we'll come back to them a little bit later. So, you put this on your legs. So, just grab some diamond leggings. Alright, now my diamond boots have swiftness, so I'm uh, my diamond legs. When you put them on, you get 20% more speed. Pretty cool, right? right. <coughs> then, the next mob uh, only spawns in the Arctic. Is it? I have it somewhere. Right, but I'll do it. Function, magic, give, troll. Alright, so it's a troll. So these are the trolls, so they must survive. They spawn uh rarely in the they spawn rarely in the uh, the Arctic. Okay. Alright, so dot toughness one and toughness two. <coughs> so those are the enchantments you can get from him. Toughness two and where's toughness one? So it's a twenty percent chance to drop toughness one, have a twenty percent and a ten percent chance to drop toughness two. But drop a chest plate. Okay. So this one has toughness, so let's see, toughness one is, so game mode survival, you get one and a half extra hearts, and toughness, no, yeah, toughness two, get five extra max HP, and if you really don't like that half heart, uh, don't worry, since where are you, right here. Back to this guy, please tell me it's the other one, no. 
just have to kill a bunch of these guys. I think I got one. I got toughness three. So these guys actually drop toughness three, so I can re Let's see so I'm just gonna do slash give epi diamond underscore chest plate. No Because if you put this one on, you gain four extra hearts. So this is the best enchantment you can get for tough toughness. Alright, and those are all the enchantments. Now, the last thing in this mod is there's a new boss. Yeah, I, I'm, I, you, you didn't hear me wrong. There's actually a new boss. So the way to spawn the blah boss is you get two blue ice and one fire charge. Now before I do it, I'm gonna get myself diamond armor. And a diamond axe of <coughs> I'm gonna do function give I want a fire one. Function magic step, and I want a life staff. Okay, so just gonna put all my armor on, and yeah, I'll be good. This is probably what you'll need to fight it, and I'll probably just take a shield too. If okay. Now, let's, so, game mode survival, so drop one of these in, eh, no, okay, it's spawned. Alright, so this is the boss, you don't want to get hit by him, eh, let me near you, heal, 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 fireball. He, he, this is one of his abilities he can do. He can do Ash Cloud while you're fighting him. Eh. Super hard to fight when he does an Ash Cloud. Oh no, I'm getting thrown up in the air. Probably gonna die. Uh. He can also throw you up in the air. There we go. <laughs> Where'd he go? Okay, let's continue the fight. Ah, no, not this thing again. No! Help, 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 uh. That's just brutal. Give me a break. Here we go again. Oh. 
I suggest either being very end game or just fight it with a few friends. I'd probably suggest feather falling or slow falling. No. Maybe I can survive this. Eh! Nope. I just kills you. So I'm gonna do slash demo creative first. Four minutes. Give me that potion. Tip. When fighting it, please drink slow falling. Just a tip. Don't have to take it, but I suggest that. <coughs> no, 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 not this. He's gonna throw me up in the air, isn't he? Where the hell did he go? Oh, he did it. Yay! Where did he go? Oh, he's down there. <sighs> mm. No, 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 not another. dead. No. Stay alive. No. Okay, 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 okay. Stay away. Not another ash cloud. Need to keep. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, yes. Yay. I actually will survive this. There's a great view from up here. I can't believe I actually survived that. But it's because I have slow falling. Where'd you go, boss? Oh, he's down here. Don't get near me! No! No! And technically this mob counts as an undead, so I can hit him with this and do damage. Because he's an elemental boy. Ah! No! Oh, no, 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 no! No! Uh, no, not an ash cloud. Please, no ash clouds. No, no, uh, 
Joking. Just shoot randomly. Oh, after him. That's pretty good. Okay, well, I think I have to sit here for a while and chill it, but I'm just gonna do it. Alright, if you finally kill it, you get a reward, so. And sometimes you can get a fourth totem, but it didn't drop this time. Here, I'll kill him. Function. I don't know why it didn't drop, but if I just do. Like, there it goes. There's a fire totem right here. Oh yeah, now I remember. If it takes too many hits, the totem will, like, it It has a durability since every time you get it hit, hit, it loses, it has a chance of losing it, so if it gets hit way too many times, you just kind of sit there doing absolutely no damage, it will break. But, it drops a blade of fire with knockback 6, fire aspect 2, and unbreaking 3. And then you have totem. So totem of death, when you put when you put it in your offhand, plus 4 attack damage. Turn of the luck, when it's in your offhand, plus 10 luck, so it will help you fish. Uh, totem of speed, when you put it in your offhand, gives you more speed, and totem of iron skin, when you put it in your offhand, you get mo uh, more defense, and your armor is less uh, likely to break. Um, so that is actually it for this data pack. Sorry if this video is a little bit longer than usual, but this is a really big data pack. And yeah, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and in the comments below, tell me what your favorite staff was. We all know you're just gonna we're all we all know we're all just gonna say the fire staff because um Yay Alright, goodbye.